Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about syntax analyzer. Syntax analyzer is also called parser. So this syntax analyzer or parser is a program that performs syntax analysis. Now how this syntax analysis is performed? So to understand how this syntax analysis is performed, you must be familiar with some terms like context-free grammar, right? So what is a context-free grammar? It is a four tuple denoted as G is equal to VTPS where G is the context free grammar right so here in VTPS this V is a finite set of symbols called as non-terminals or variables it is a finite set of non-terminals or variables and uh, this T it is a set of symbols which are called terminals so it is a set of terminals and P is the set of production rules right or you can see can say that P is the set of productions and S it is a non-terminal symbol and it is called as a start symbol right so every language has a grammar right and the tokens which are generated by the lexical analyzer are considered as terminals right so what happens parser obtains a string of tokens from lexical analyzer and it does syntax analysis of that string of tokens which it has received from lexical analyzer so how it does syntax analysis so the parser which obtains a string of terminals from a lexical analyzer it verifies whether or not this string of terminals can be generated by the grammar of the source language so if the string of tokens is generated by the grammar of the source language then the string of tokens is syntactically correct if the string of tokens cannot be generated by the grammar of the source language it means the string of tokens is not syntactically correct it has errors <clears throat> now let us consider an example now see this grammar g right it has uh, this uh, set of non terminals having only one non terminal s and uh, it has two terminal symbols a b right and a start symbol is s right and uh, this P is a set of production rules. Now you can see this P contains these productions. S drives ASA, S drives BSP, and S drives empty string. Now you can see we have to perform the syntax analysis of uh, this string of terminals A, B, B, A. Right? Now we have to do the syntax analysis of this string of terminals A, B, B, A. So what we need to do, we have to verify that uh, whether this string is generated by this grammar or not if this string is generated by this grammar g it means this string of tokens is syntactically correct if it is not generated by this grammar g it means it is not syntactically correct this string of terminal is not syntactically correct so we will try to derive this string of terminals a b b a from uh, this grammar g right by using these production rules right starting from the start symbol s right so it starts from the start symbol s right first we apply this production rule s drives asa so s is replaced by asa now here see this non-terminal symbol s so now you can see uh, this is string asa right here uh, there is a non-terminal s right so we will apply the production rule s derives bsp right so when uh, we apply this production rule s drives b as b this s will be replaced by this string b as b right and we will get this string a b as b a right now here see this non terminal symbol s right we will apply this production rule s derives empty string right so this s will be replaced by empty string right and it will be vanished in the string right so we will get this string of uh, terminals a b b a right so this string of terminals a b b a it has been generated from this grammar g right uh, you can see its derivation here this is the derivation of uh, this string a b b a right so this string of uh, terminals a b b a it is syntactically correct because it has been generated from this grammar g now see the parsers are of two types top down parser and bottom up parser bottom up parser performs bottom up parsing 
what is bottom up parsing and uh, how bottom up parser performs bottom up parsing that we will study later right in this tutorial we will study only about top down parser so what the top down parsers do they do top down parsing and what is top down parsing the top down parsing attempts to find the leftmost derivation for an input string and which is equivalent to constructing a parse tree for example consider this grammar as derives a b uh, a derives a a and a drives empty b drives b now see the leftmost derivation of this string of terminals a a a b so we will start from the start symbol s so we will apply this production rule as derives a b right now it is the leftmost derivation we are performing the leftmost derivation of this uh, string of terminals a a a b so the leftmost non terminal is a right so first we will apply production rule to the leftmost non terminal the leftmost non terminal is a so here we will apply this production rule to this non terminal a right a derives a a right so here a will be replaced by a a then we will get this string a a b right now in this string what happens we will find leftmost non terminal right and apply production rule to that non terminal so here the leftmost non terminal is a right so here we will apply this production rule a derives a a so this a will be replaced by a a right now we have this string a a a b in this string again we will find the leftmost non terminal leftmost non terminal is this a again we will apply a production rule a derives a a so this a will be replaced by a a and we will get this string a a a a b again the leftmost non terminal is a so here we will apply the production rule a derives empty right so this a will be replaced by empty string so we will get this string a a a b right now we will uh, see in this string the leftmost non terminal is b so we will apply production rule to this non terminal b so here we will apply this production rule b derives b right so when we apply this production rule this b will be replaced by terminal symbol b and we will get this string a a a b right so this is the leftmost derivation of uh, this string of terminals a a a b now we have seen the leftmost uh, derivation of uh, this string a a a b uh, by using this grammar now we have to construct the derivation tree for this string a a a b by using this grammar so first we will start from start symbol s right this start symbol s will be the root node of the derivation tree right so first we will apply this production rule s derives a b so the children of uh, this root node will be a b right now here in a b you can see the leftmost non terminal is a right so here we will apply this production rule a derives a a right so the children of this non terminal a will be a a now you can see the leaves a a b the leftmost uh, non terminal is a right so here we will apply production rule to this non terminal a that is a derives a a so the children of this node will be a a now see the leaves a a a b the leftmost non terminal is a so what we will do we will apply production rule to this non terminal a that is a derives a a so children of this node a will be a a right now see the leaves of this derivation tree the leftmost uh, non terminal is this a so we have to apply production rule to this so i will apply this production rule a derives empty right so what happens this a will be replaced by the empty string right so what happens now see this uh, uh, derivation tree the leftmost non terminal is b so here i have to apply the production rule i will apply this production rule b drives b so the child of this node will be terminal symbol b so here i have got this string a 
a a b this empty symbol will vanish right so here i have got this string of terminals a a a b so here you can see this uh, derivation tree for this uh, string of terminals right 